So I was watching a show called The Resident. There's an episode where a woman comes in the hospital and is later diagnosed with a rare parasite. Now, the drug to kill this rare parasite is $48,000. Now, the guy is going to bring it to them in four hours. He tells them to go ahead and bring it. Problem is, they don't have the $48,000. So, in the lobby, waiting to see how this woman turns out because she's very sick is the people that are there waiting for her. This woman helps people. The cops are there. The drug dealers, the gang bangers, the street walkers. And it's not just one or two. It's a lot of people are interested in the outcome of this woman. And they're there to try to help and support the best way they can. So in the four hours, as soon as the guy tells them what's going on and they need $48,000, everyone in the room stands up and pulls out a cell phone and start making calls. And in the four hours, they raise $48,000 cash to save this woman's life. And of course, it being a TV show, it worked. Why am I telling you this? I know it's a TV show. But this woman, if she was a real life person, was out there helping people, was out there putting herself on the line. She was out there trying to make a difference. And she made a difference in people's life to the point that when she needed it, they stepped up and they saved her life. That is respecting people. That is loving people. That is approaching people the way you want to be approached and not judging people by what you see they look like or what you perceive they are. People aren't all bad and people aren't all good. People are just people. You have to choose what kind of person you want to be. Do you want to be the asshole that nobody likes and could care less if you live or die? Or do you want to be the type of person that makes a difference in somebody's life? Do you want to be out there in need of $48,000 and people come through for you at a moment's notice? That is powerful stuff. We need more of that.